What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. Today you are joining me in Lavelle, Wyoming. We are here at another plant which is a new spot for me. I have never been here before and so because I have never been here before it's a video. So we are going to be picking up plastic rolls and so I'm assuming that it's just liners because it's going to a waste management facility in Livermore, California is where I will be delivering to. So with that being said, let me show you guys what we are picking up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so this is what we got. So these are the rolls. And then we're gonna have three of these pallets. Let's put one on the back. And then we're gonna put two more on the step deck here when I pull out, but essentially these are 16 feet long. And then I have two stacks of four. And then check out these brand new straps, baby. All nice and shiny. Those were much needed, but anyways, we're damn near loaded. I just have to pull out so that we can put the other two pallets up here and then go over, pull in, see how much we weigh, make sure that we don't have too much weight on our drives, and then pull over to the tarping station. So I'll see you guys here in a minute. All right, we're here at the tarping station. Here's a little better eye, bird's eye view of what we have going on. So I apologize if the wind noise sucks, but so we got the three pallets, the two I'm leaning on up here on the step deck, and two stacks of four 16 foot rolls of whatever this nonsense is, and then the pallet in the very back. So. Let's have some fun, get this load tarped, and get a few miles under our belt today because it's already pushing, well, I think it's about five o'clock in the afternoon already. So this day went to shit in a hand basket really fast, waiting around to get loaded. All right, folks, I'm gonna give you a quick little couple tips here for tarping in the wind. Now, I'm not saying that it's the right way, I'm just telling you it works for me. So, hopefully you can hear me because of the wind. I don't know if you can see the flag up there, it's blowing around pretty good. If you watch the tarp, it keeps blowing under the trailer. But before I fold down my side flaps and my rear flaps, what I do is I, I roll out my tarp, and then I unfold my first two thirds, I guess you could say, and then I find my D-ring here at the end on both sides and then I'll run a bungee or bungee rope whatever you have and pull the front forward to hold that tarp from getting blown off especially on this stuff this stuff is like slick like walking on ice and so the tarp with the winds going this direction and so the tarp kept wanting to blow off. And then if you guys are, this is another good little tip. If you guys are having issues with your rear flaps or your front flap always coming undone, roll it up like a freaking taco, burrito, whatever the hell you wanna say. Just, just roll it up. Like you can see mine's just, it's just simply, just roll it up like a piece of paper and then I find the furthest out D-ring and then just pull it backwards and just pull a bungee tight so do that on each side and now keep all this locked in to where 
you won't have to worry about that flap coming undone while you're driving. Do the same thing on the front flap. Look, as you can see, my damn tarp is trying to blow away on me. But hopefully that helps you guys. But that's how I start my tarps out in the wind. I run two bungees forward off of the front to hold it down. And then as soon as I get that done, I come back here, I drop the back flap, I roll it up, and then I run two more bungees off of each side. And then as you can see, even with the wind blowing the tarp clear under the trailer and out the other side, I mean, she's not going anywhere. So hopefully, and that's up here in the nice Wyoming wind. So hopefully that helps you guys. But anyways, I'm gonna finish buttoning this tarp down and then throw the other tarp and let's get the hell out of here. Oh, holy shit, breathing hard. So this is what I was talking about, guys. I just open it up to where it's eight feet wide across the top, and then I bungee all four corners. That way, oh, I guess I forgot a couple bungees right there on the bottom one. Got ahead of myself. But that way, uh, now if the wind catches it, it doesn't take my whole tarp and blow it off the other side of the trailer. Why I'm trying to get the whole thing you know all the the sides drop down sorry I had to run the wind picked up good right there and so I was up here walking along this side and it lifted this corner up and started trying to huck it so I had to grab a bungee well run up to my box grab a bungee run back here and get this corner uh, bungee down because this is essentially the first corner that the wind hits so but once you have those done, you can just grab here and just pull this side down like that. Once this side's down, you see the wind? The wind will just take it under the trailer. And then you don't have to worry about worry about it lifting up that tarp and flipping it over the other side of the trailer at that point. And then I can undo this bungee that I have pulling it forward. And then I'll show you guys, we'll undo the front flap. Here, let's run around the other side of the trailer. We'll do this in real time, how about that? So if you guys wanna stick around and watch, you can. If not, by all means, you know, go watch some supercars or something. That's what I usually do. So, hold on. Let me set you guys back here on this thing. I hooked this one to the wrong one. Oh. I don't know how that flap got on the underside. Somehow that flap was on the underside. That's weird. How the hell that happened but it happened needless to say i had a guy up in billings helping me roll these up so maybe we just got ahead of ourselves but so there's that flap down just gonna say you guys right hopefully you can see
guys caught that. Oh. You gotta grab this before the wind takes it. But, and then I find the D-ring that's the furthest out. Then we just stretch a bungee back. So, so we don't want one of the D-rings in the middle. Because if you get one of the D-rings in the middle, then you leave all the outside of this all loose. So you want essentially the D-ring that's on the furthest outside roll. I guess if that makes any damn sense at all. But oh. then we come to the other side. on this to pull it this way a little bit. Same thing for the steering out. Pull it a little further so it wraps around the corner here. Now we're just going to take the bungee and drag it down here. Hook it up. Once that's done we can disconnect these. Then we can jump back up button up the front, then do the sides, and we're done. Well, we're going to end the video right here, guys and gals. So, but I've had people ask me before, God damn, I'm a fat kid. Whew, breathing. How I finish up the step deck portion with bungees. Uh, for me, there's no rhyme or reason. I just run bungees. So the biggest thing is, is you want an abundance of bungees in this area to keep air from getting up underneath your tarp right there. Otherwise it balloons. Um, one thing I do is you see how I ran the bungees up from the lower set of D-rings up to a higher set of D-rings just to pull the tarp down tighter up top. Uh, that way, just so this doesn't get a bunch of air underneath it and cause a big balloon effect up here. And then another question I had been asked is why I choose to run the 31 inch bungee cords versus, what is it, the 21 inch and the 15 inch, I guess they are. Uh, the reason I run the 31 inch is because generally you can start with like this D-ring and I can run it down through my trailer and then skip a D-ring. See, I skipped that one and then connect it to this one. So every one, as you can see, is skipped. And so it just creates this nice little crisscross pattern all the way down the trailer. And so it just holds your tarps nice and tight all the way down. So, but that's how I do it. Like I always say, I'm not saying that it's right. I'm not saying it's wrong. It's just, it's what works for me. So, and I do apologize for this video being so long, but that's how I finish the front. Just run bungees back and forth. Nothing special. I mean, all this stuff is, is just kind of common sense. I need to check out my tarps up there. They got beat to hell in my last load. You got to take the patch kit and do some patchwork. But... And then here's the back. So, but just ran a few bungees across the back, tighten everything together, hold everything down, and then this side's essentially the exact same as the other side. So, but you can see how I sucked that, where it goes up the step deck there, how I sucked it in nice and tight. That way the air just, it's all about aerodynamics when you're doing a, a tarp, you know, as tight as you can get it. And then, uh, you know, if you see any spots that are, They'll take in air and whatnot, just get rid of them. Uh, always put your back tarp on first, obviously, and then your front tarp. This last trip from uh, Washington State over here into Montana, I literally seen four or five loads where guys had put their back tarp on after their front tarp, and the wind was just trying to take their back tarp off of their trailer. So for you new guys out there, or maybe you're not new guys, Back tarp first, front tarp.
sharp second. That way the air runs over your front tarp. As you can see, over your front tarp and then over your back tarp. So, so if you put your back tarp on first, or second, sorry, then it's gonna be overlapping your front tarp, which then it's gonna catch all the wind coming over your truck and your trailer. And it'll make for a very bad day. So anyways, with that being said, guys, I appreciate you all for watching and I will see you all on the next video.